Frankie, last time on Box Mac, you may remember our good friend Emily joined us, and we were going to take a look at some Macs from Texas. But it turned out those Macs were from Utah. So, we got to go back to Texas. We're going to check out these HEB Macs today on Box Mac. Big deal in Texas, right? Yeah, one of the major grocery store chains. Do you shop there on a weekly basis? Yes, uh, I live in a pretty small rural area. We've got a Walmart, we've got HEB, and that's about the grocery game that we've got to work with. HEB is better about taking WIC, which I'm, I, mm -hmm. I use. Walmart does tend to have lower prices overall. Yeah. Uh, HEB has way better sales. I'm from Taylor, Texas. Taylor, uh, Texas. In the Austin area. These are Macs that are left over from the Texas box. Obviously, we're not gonna make 13 Macs. No, we've got a reduced sodium Mac here. We have a basic HEB and a reduced sodium HEB, and I prefer propose that we cook both, we try the reduced sodium first, and see how we feel about it before we get any salt on our palates. You wouldn't be adding any salt to this water? No, nope, not at all. Now the margarine that you've been using, is it salted? Uh, it's pre-salted, but I mean it's not, it's not like over salt, like okay. extra salty. Bottom. So that's all the salt we're gonna be using. <laughs> We've got more Max here. I think this comparison is valid. I'm not so fond of whole grain. Uh, pastas Maybe. most of the time anyway, they're a little gritty. I've got some obligation to give them to my kids, but I don't want to eat them myself. I think we should do the whole grain. I think so too. My excuses for not feeding them to my children are starting to evaporate. Sure. Because they're about the same price as the yeah. white ones these well, days. Well, how do you feel about whole grain bread in your in your sandwiches? That's that's usually what we do. Brown rice, whole grain breads, whole grain pastas. I'm good about it. I just don't care to eat it myself. Right. Sure, sure. Right. Y'all be healthy and I'll... My life is forfeit. Remember years ago when they got really down on anything that's white? Yeah, the idea is that uh, you shouldn't eat anything white and shouldn't eat anything creamy. Or after 8 p.m. And don't get it wet. The gremlins diet. Not after eight and not white. The whole grain is only a six ounce, while the other two are both seven and a quarter. Yeah, that makes so. sense because I was gonna say that this is the same price as these. Reduced sodium N. This is just Heb MC. Ma 43 H -E -B, cheese. macaroni and cheese. N-C-W-G-M-C. W-G, whole grain. Whole grain. We got it. Well, I'm gonna write grainy. I've got the water running for 38 minutes. And, you and you'll be able to read these later. Sure, okay. maybe, no. I need a noodle. You need a noodle? Here you go, Frank. Oh, good. What do you think of my turn dial microwave? I thought we kind of got away from this. I thought high tech meant less of this kind of thing. What is the the benefit to it, really? Less numbers, I guess, and more dedicated function keys that I never a use. Gigantic microwave. I've never used the speed cook key. I've never used Slim Fry. I've so never tell used me what Slim Fry is meant to do. This is actually a convection oven as well. I see. Uh, so you can use it as a second oven. I use bake all the time because I bake things in the convection oven. Roast I never have used. Brown, never used. I've never used the microwave button because it is by nature a microwave. <laughs> you don't need a button. Is that just their way of being like, uh, you know, nothing fancy? <laughs> Speed roast, never used it, and defrost, which I've never used. And then you have essential buttons. Kitchen timer I use. Fit choice, I'm not very fit. I don't have any choices related. Steam clean, that's a nice feature. I didn't know the microwave had until I went to read them right now. It's got eco mode and warm hold as well, which okay. also sound like nice features. It's certainly got the fan and an obnoxiously um, blue LED light. I like warm LED lights. This is whole grain. Frankie, we had kind of given up on our noodle testa and I want to bring it back. AGB did not disappoint us last time That's at right. all. That's so right. even their whole grain, who knows? Howard E. Butts to the rescue. Is that his name? It is. He did consult like a marketing expert and say, hey, can I just call this place Butts? And he's like, no, don't, don't call it Butts. Really? Shop at Butts. He needed a marketing expert to know that. Their whole grain, they look fine. Oh, yeah, I'm actually surprised it doesn't look browner than it does. It almost looks like mac and cheese. Whoa, it's white yellow. White yellow green. Which is strange because sure. on the box, it's all, it's very yellow. Yeah. It's so yellow, it's almost green. Now it's looking quite brown. I take everything back. It's not looking very attractive. I know, I don't want to crap on H-E-B though. They were so good to us. Check this out. Ah. Uh, I would vote for a, t a little more milk. Just a dash. You never know till you eat it, guys. You never know. We're trying the it. unsalted one? Unsalted. Otherwise, I think our palates will get, you know, salty. A salty palate. These are some little short noodles here. Do th are they all like that? I think they pretty much are. This actually looks the most cheese colored, uh, the one we did in the wrapper, which is the low sodium. The color looks amazing. It's great yeah. color. It tastes fine to me. It tastes really good. I don't eat this and say, huh, where's all the salt? Like if you eat a, a can of unsalted sliced carrots, you have to add salt to make it palatable. Very good flavor. It's true that it's not very salty. That is, right. that is true. It's got a really solid cheddar flavor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like we saw on the other HEBs, really solid. Their solid cheddar flavor is the secret to their success. I think so. I think we should move on to the standard Mac, which has been salted in the standard way. A little lighter color. I still like the color a little bit less, but it actually doesn't taste as good to me as the other one. I agree. 
Less, uh, less cheddar flavor. But I wouldn't say that this one strikes me as a lot saltier. Does this deconstruct everything you've ever believed? Not everything. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. But the other one was was better. All right, let's try the whole grain. This one does look a little disturbing. I don't have high hopes for it. And if I, I think it's gonna be fine. If I don't like it, Howard, don't hold it against me. He's dead. I think it's oh, he is? Did oh, he yeah. die of something butt related? Yeah. <laughs> Strange flavor on the pasta. But you can taste the whole grain. You can taste it, the whole grain. It kind of overpowers the cheese, the whole grain flavor. That's really the issue, isn't it? You want a pasta that isn't flavored, so you can then flavor the That's pasta. That's right. I'm pretty relieved that the, the sauce is not as like clumpy as we thought it was mm. gonna be. They sell those colored, like tricolor pasta. Never cared for it because it tastes like something itself. It's not bad, this isn't bad, but I think the reduced sodium was my favorite. I, it was mine as well. Yeah, I think that might be our winner. Let me just say, I am really, really pleased with HEB's store brand as a Mac. Compared to other store brands, the breadth of products and the quality of these products for the price is really just excellent. When they commented on our video, they were responding to you who said, hey, open some stores up there in Massachusetts. And they said, well, we're not gonna be doing that, but you can order them online. So they would love Which to- Which was really nice, and I'm going to. I've been longing for that three cheese. I really like that Well, I gave cheese. you a spare box. I used it. I went to go visit you. Mm -hmm. I picked up uh, an HEB three cheese to do on the show. Right. Then we got sent the same exact box. So we had a spare. And I was gonna bring it home because I loved it so much. And then I saw John just longing for it. <laughs> and I said, would you like it? And he looked at it, sad eyes, no irony, no comedy, and he goes, I'd like it. I did say that. And I told him I'd save it for a rainy day, and I did, and it was wonderful. Was it awesome? It was great. Oh, low sodium is a win for me. Yep, it's the best one because it has the best cheese flavor. It almost makes you wonder what happens if you throw some salt on the low sodium one. No, I don't think it needs any. Next up, what? Um, I don't know, maybe we'll have to talk about it and see next time on Box Mac. Hey. Emily will be back for one more episode next week, but catch up on her past shows. And stay tuned after the credits for a Texas radio appearance by Junt. Good Sunday. Ever seen the YouTube series Box Mac? Frankie Frayne and Jonathan Hunt reviewed Box Macaroni and Cheese. Deep, right? Well, this week they tried out HEB mac and cheese. I asked show host Hunt how two Boston guys got their hands on Texas product. One of our fans sent in a huge box of the HEB macaroni and cheese. I mean, I, I was amazed that there were so many varieties, and it was really, really awesome to, to get to try some. Right out of the box. How did the HEB mac and cheese stack up to what you've seen before? The shells were so small, really tiny little shells. Uh, so I thought it was going to be kind of wimpy, but it turned out they cooked up really good and they were really delicious. Yeah, how does um, HEB mac and cheese compare to all the other mac and cheeses you've tried? And about how many mac and cheeses have you tried? We're up well over 100 macaroni and cheeses by now. And I'd say that the, this three cheese, um, the three cheese that we had from HEB was it, certainly in the top 15. I really loved it. HEB's official YouTube channel even commented on the video saying, quote, we loved your show. Though we may not be building a store in your area soon, you can always order our Macs on HEB.com. That's a look at news from across Texas. I'm Becky Fogel for the Texas Standard.